Kilo comrades. So I've been in a freezer every day for the past few weeks and I figured the Russians uh, would make some pretty warm hats as they're used to going cold and hungry with communism, AKA socialism, America heading in a similar direction, except we will be eating bugs instead of stale bread and potatoes. Uh, so I'm sure some of you guys were hoping that I was relaxing and feeling better, but yeah, I've been you know physically and mentally exhausted these past few weeks more so than ever. Adam is no longer with Frankie's Free Range Meat and I kind of want to keep the story quiet and use it as one of the negotiating points with the lawyers and I'll see how that does go over the next week or two but so far he's been incredibly aggressive immediately hiring a lawyer making ridiculous demands and I wouldn't be surprised if I'm going into details in a matter of days and it's really a reflection of his true behavior and intentions definitely not to my surprise now that he's not down here and has no access to the money coming in the company is suddenly profitable who would have guessed I did wait a little longer than I should have to let him go two main reasons one is that I've been physically sick from the iron overload, liver problems. Second, I hope my parents were going to back up the loan I was applying for so I'd be able to purchase that slaughterhouse, just relocate everything, kind of you know, start fresh. And despite those two negatives, I am excited where I've taken this business in less than two years and I think I'm the only person that can genuinely change the food system we're currently working with. And as I said, these past few weeks, I've been down here every single day. It's not too much work, but you know, seven days a week is not fun. You know, all I'm doing is working, sleeping, eating on occasion, which I don't mind, but this added stress of the lawsuits, the gang stalkers, I can't trust anyone is, is just adding way too much stress. At the moment, it does look like I can run the physical end of the business on my own. It's just more than I'm willing to kind of take on. Uh, so I do need to hire and train some staff just so I don't completely lose my mind. It could definitely be worse, but I've been left with some sort of nightmare. After calling up our suppliers, our farmers, I found out Adam had cut ties with them months ago, obviously incredibly suspicious. So they stopped producing the animals and products to our specifications. And unrelated to that, you know, meat prices have gone up, as most of you have probably noticed, as high as 30%. And, you know, I was looking online the past few weeks, and people are selling ground beef for $10, $11 a pound, which to me is crazy, you know, especially considering that we sell it for $8.50 plus free shipping. You know, I guess they're using the crisis as an excuse to make more money. And I actually wrote this script a few weeks ago. Uh, since then... I have worked out some supply issues and it does look like things are going to be okay moving forward, at least for now. Thing is, that slaughterhouse would have basically tripled my profit, probably more, to the point where you know this business would be very, very lucrative. And I just don't have the liquid capital to do it. I can open a West Coast location right now to also drastically increase profit as I spend an incredible amount on shipping to California, those West Coast locations, Utah, Washington. Unfortunately, due to the lack of reliability of the farmers, the distributors, I'm kind of stuck. You know, the upfront cost of that slaughterhouse is significant enough that I can't do it. And it would transform my ability to provide you guys with a variety of cuts, freshly slaughtered meat on a more consistent basis, especially value-added products, bacon, jerky, sausages that I can practice my culinary expertise with. You know, I can be there and oversee all daily operations myself, make sure the quality control, of course, is perfect, unlike a farm or a West Coast shipping hub. You know, I can afford those two latter options right now. The West Coast location is so much cheaper that my parents would actually be able to lend me the money to do it. But, you know, without the reliable source of meat from a slaughterhouse, you know, raised to certain standards, you know, combined with me not having anyone reliable to run those other operations, you know, they're 100% out of the question right now. You know, I've spoken about the dairy, the eggs, you know, all these products I want to do for you guys. But if I can't have it all in one spot where I'm there every single day, you know, as the catastrophe with my business partner has been, it's just not gonna work. At this point, I can't 
count how many times I've said it, but I really don't want to do this. You know, I always joke about being on the beach with some Russian girls. <laughs> it's not like I can't make that a reality. Uh, this is just how I see I can make the biggest impact on improving the health of as many people as possible through providing high quality animal food. And, you know, just how I am, where my morals are, you know, if I'm not here to be of service to other people, you know, no, to me, enjoying stuff myself isn't, isn't really, um, not really in the playbook. You know, we're selling meat right now, distributing. Hopefully in the near future, we can slaughter the animals ourselves, have more control over the entire operation. And then we can even have enough land to raise those animals ourselves and do things that no one else is doing at incredibly uh, unbelievable price points, uh, if, if we haven't done that already. Now, that being said, you know, we still have most beef cuts anyone would want access to. You know, I have the Iberico pork back in and I'm actually going to try to launch wild boar this week. You know what, I'll, I'll try to get it up for this video for you guys if you want to check out the wild boar. I'm trying to get my hands on more cuts of venison as well, hopefully in two months or so. So, you know, full steam ahead with the business, uh, you know, kind of dealing with the cards in my hand right now. You know, spring is just around the corner. Uh, so I'm going to be reaching back out to those Amish farmers as you know, much of a nightmare as it's been to see if I can find someone willing to do the dairy and the eggs for us. I did speak to some local creameries as well as egg suppliers, and I wasn't too happy with the response, you know, the quality of their product, the price points they're asking. But, you know, I, I keep saying, you know, just, just a couple more months, just another year or two, and things are going to pan out and it'll be worth it. But, uh, I don't know, I've, I've already basically lost my mind. So yeah, I didn't really address not doing a video for a month or I think even like a month and a week now, which is kind of unheard of for me. You know, it's just how I felt every day. I just didn't really care at all. And I, I still don't really, you know, I was supposed to do this video two weeks ago. You know, I wanted to take two weeks off YouTube. Then it became three weeks, then four weeks, then five weeks. And I wasn't going to even film this today. I was going to wait till Wednesday. You know, I, just, I just don't really care. I've been delaying it, but you know, e even, when I've been absent from YouTube, people are still placing a lot of orders. They're, you know, they do see the value in my businesses and I am providing a product and I don't really know how I, I could walk away from that right now. Uh, so I'll try to get you guys some more updates, some more vlogs over this week, especially we'll be doing more focus on the products. And now some of you guys might be thinking I look different or something, something's up, but I, I just bought a new camera because my other camera basically broke. Uh, it wasn't working when the room was like below 45 degrees. Uh, so maybe I'll get Canon to fix that camera and we could do a giveaway, but uh, not, not to drag this video out too long. Um, you know, thank you guys for watching as always. Uh, drop a like on the video, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week. And above all, please share the video, let everyone know what's going on. You know, sign up for the newsletter on franktestafon.com, frankiesoonrangemeet.com. And uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow for uh, something not as positive, I guess.